The poison coming from China, fentanyl, it's all over the United States and it is killing people. The powerful painkiller is used legally for severe pain, but is it a weapon of mass destruction? Should it be labeled that? Depends who you ask. An official from the Department of Homeland Security is warning that it would be a mistake to label fentanyl as a weapon of mass destruction. When asked about this proposal, a top official for the Countering Weapons of Mass Destruction Office said, quote, any declaration of fentanyl as a weapon of mass destruction, I think you have to carefully consider that because there are legitimate medical uses for fentanyl. How strong is fentanyl? Well, according to the CDC, fentanyl can be up to 50 times stronger than heroin, up to 100 times stronger than morphine. Illicit fentanyl, not legal fentanyl, illicit fentanyl is commonly mixed with other drugs such as heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine. It can even be made to look like other prescription drugs. The CDC says more than 150 people die each day from opioid overdoses, including from fentanyl. The Attorney General of Florida, Ashley Moody, wants President Biden to do something about deadly drugs entering the U.S. After two mass overdoses in her state, she is calling for a declaration that fentanyl is a weapon of mass destruction. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody joins us. Good evening. Good evening. Great to be with you. Thank you for joining me. All right, you sent this letter on the 18th to President Biden. I assume you have not yet gotten a response. Is that, is that right? Correct. Although. Uh, this has really set off a firestorm of folks speaking out, stepping up, saying they've lost loved ones. Even Families for Fentanyl has uh, encouraged this request. They understand that we have hit levels in the state that we have in the state and nation uh, in fentanyl that we have never seen before. And just the sheer volume of the amount of drug, uh, drugs in this nation right now uh, makes it more of an impediment that you know, more of an urgency that this administration declared a weapon of mass destruction. Okay, I take you to want to ban it because it's a very effective tool to people who have extreme pain, like from radiation treatment with, with cancer. I mean, it is, it is an effective painkiller. But, um, but, so, but if, it is, if it is classified as a weapon of mass destruction, what does that do? Well, it allows other agencies and resources to start working along with our traditional agencies that go after illicit substances like DEA, DHS, uh, DOD could step in and work with these agencies, direct not only bodies, but additional resources to target this beginning in Mexico. You know, we have super labs in Mexico right now uh, creating fentanyl from precursors that are shipped over from China. And it, that, that, because of the wide open border, uh, we're seeing since Biden took office up to 10 times you would the American population uh, would die as a result of the amount of fentanyl just seized. That's not what we've missed on the border because of those that are trafficking it in that we haven't we haven't encountered. All right. It, it, in terms of this uh, fentanyl, it, I mean, it starts the precursor, as you, as you noted, in China. And they, they ship it to Mexico. And, and I, I assume everybody knows what this is for. This is not some sort of accidental shipment or shipment for some sort of Good Samaritan reasons. This is to make fentanyl. And then the fentanyl is made in those labs in Mexico. And then it, it is shipped to this country. Do you, by calling it a weapon of mass destruction, would that enable any sort of stiffer treatment or diplomatic pressure on China to stop sending this stuff to Mexico and Mexico to, to stop this from coming into our country? Right. They'd be able to target those cartels that are trafficking uh, this into uh, Mexico using those additional resources, using those additional funds. I think the, the mere labeling of, uh, of fentanyl as a weapon of mass destruction uh, would make Mexico, uh, you know, take notice that the American government and administration is serious. You know, I was so disappointed when Biden met with the Mexican president and it brushed past fentanyl, the Mexican president didn't even respond, didn't even address it. Uh, and we know they can help us further. You know, this has gone on. I used to be a federal prosecutor. This has gone on a long time where uh, Mexican law enforcement leaders are reluctant to work with our leaders. And I don't know why our administration is so afraid to call them out. I mean, we fentanyl in terms of what we detained at the border just in the 2021 went up a thousand percent. DEA head just came out and said it's the deadliest drug they've ever seen. Just those two things together should tell this president, we've got to do something different. You've got to be more forceful. You've got to make the Mexican government work with you. 
And, you know, Florida at this point, just since July 4th, we've had two mass overdose incidences in our state. This cannot go on. We're going to see more of these across the United States if we don't do something out of the box and more forceful to stop this influx coming into the United States. If it's labeled weapon of mass destruction, does it in any way inhibit legitimate uh, medical use of it, you know, to treat what it was, you know, what it was designed for, to, for, for painkillers? Will this, will this create any problem for those people who, who genuinely need it for pain? That's a great question, and of course not. I mean, we have drugs right now that are allowed for medical purposes, but when they are used illicitly, uh, we have law enforcement that goes after those, seizes those drugs, and puts those trafficking, those drugs behind bars where they should be. But the breakdown in our border, in, in the federal government, the Biden administration, Mayorkas, enforcing the law at our border, has allowed this influx He's of massive amounts of fentanyl it's just like you're seeing all over in, in large cities and states around this nation where there's a breakdown in the enforcement and following of the law. The same thing is happening at the border, but law enforcement officials know how to go you. after and target illicit substances as opposed to those that are medically prescribed and needed by the medical profession. Uh, we have less than a minute left, but tell me, um, lots of times attorney generals will band together. They did for, against the tobacco industry, for instance. They were, they were grouped together in an effort when they think that the federal government has fallen down on the job. Have you made any attempt to band together with other state attorneys generals to try to come up with some, you know, some uh, remedy or solution to try to fight this scourge? Well, as you know, I'm with attorneys general every day in court fighting to force this administration to do its job, follow the law, secure the border. In Florida, we've seen these incidents where we have had Floridians dying. Law enforcement rolled up on a convenience store. Seven people were unconscious from fentanyl. I have no doubt that other attorneys general are going to join in this call as they see that this is destroying families, uh, killing folks within their states. I have no doubt they're going to request the same of Biden and his administration. Attorney General Moody, thank you. Absolutely. Great to be with you.